the Tiger Shark is loaded with an array of useful features. The four-way jaws are precision made to hold a wide variety of key blanks. The A side is for most standard keys, such as Schlage, Quickset, and other large pin keys. The B side holds the blank further out and is primarily for smaller keys, like furniture and padlock keys. One of the other two sides has a lip on the top jaw. The other side has a lip on the bottom jaw. These sides are used for double-sided automotive keys that are held on the keyway and allow you to code cut both sides of the key. To change sides, simply loosen the wing nut, pull up on the bottom jaw, and rotate the jaws to the side needed. HPC machines utilize custom design cutters to create the exact angle needed for each key. To make changing cutters as quick as possible, the Tiger Shark is equipped with the unique quick nut that makes changing cutters fast and easy, without needing tools. First, turn off the machine. Depress the shaft lock button. Turn the quick nut clockwise toward the front of the machine. Remove it and the cutter. Place the new cutter on the shaft with the arrow facing out. Replace the quick nut, depress the shaft lock button, and hand tighten. HPC releases an update for the Tiger Shark every year. This update contains any available new code series, depth and space data, as well as any new operational changes for the machine. These annual updates are supplied on an SD card to load directly onto the machine. There are some occasions when you will only have an existing key and not know the bidding. Instead of making a questionable duplicate from an unknown copy, use the decoding function on the Tiger Shark. The touch screen takes you step by step through the process. Select Tools and then Decode. Remove the decoder plate from the back of the machine. Loosen the cutter nut and place the decoder plate to the left of the cutter. Tighten the cutter nut. Next, gauge and load the cut key and follow the on-screen prompts to designate the manufacturer and start the decoding process. The carriage will move to engage the decoder plate and the cuts of the key. The machine takes three readings of each space to determine the proper depth. After reading each of the spaces, the screen will display the bidding. From here, you can code cut a new key to this bidding. The Tiger Shark has several built-in safety features, including a safety switch in the storage sleeve. If the decoder plate is out of the storage sleeve, the cutter will not spin. The main screen has presets for the three keys you cut most often plus a shortcut to the last key cut. These buttons take you directly to the bidding input screen to enter the cuts needed. Entering a new preset or changing an existing preset is also very easy. Select Tools to go to the Tools menu. Select Edit DSD Presets and type in the name or DSD number of the key you want to add.
The integrated shoulder and tip gauges are equipped with safety switches that prevent the machine from operating if the gauges are left in the way. A message will display on the screen reminding you to lower the gauges. The Tiger Shark can make five different styles of cuts. The default style is the plunge cut, where the carriage moves straight in and out, leaving a peak between each cut. While this style is best for keys for pin tumbler locks, keys for disc tumbler locks may insert smoother without the peaks. To change the cut style, select the Just from the Cut Key screen. The flexibility of the Tiger Shark allows you to make temporary or permanent adjustments electronically for a specific DSD or for the entire machine. From the Cut Key screen, select Adjust. On the Adjust screen, you can change the depths, spaces, bow to tip measurements, cut style, and feed rate, the speed that the carriage moves into the cutter. To prevent unauthorized adjustments to the machine, you can activate the Security function. From the Tools menu, select Security. On the security screen, key in a password and press enter. Once the password is set, it must be entered before you can access the tools menu. 